But what actually is a stone blade and what's a core? How do archaeologists put them into some kind of category? When basic terms, it's really a removal or a detachment that is twice as long as its width with roughly parallel sides. That proper blade would have to be from a prepared core. The core itself is the central piece of stone that that removal has come from and you can get lots of different types of core. The earliest kinds of core and flake technology come from 3.3 million years ago, the oldest stone tools, but they were just very simple flakes that were detached from a core. Very different to blade cores, but I guess the story has to start somewhere. Flakes from simple cores are not totally random, but there's limited uniformity to them, simply because there isn't that forethought to produce flakes. It's really just a case of picking up a stone, striking the edge, ideally in an accurate spot, the flake coming off, and the shape and size of it is very much determined by the power and angle of the strike, and as I said, the shape of that rock. The second removal, that follow-up flake, could be then taken off in the flake scar that you've just created because it'd be a nice flat striking platform. But again, it's still very much determined by the surface topography of that starting piece of stone, which has now become a core, and that strike angle and power. 